Hey everyone, Solar Punk Steve here. Today I wanted to show you my solar powered, fully electric lawn care setup with some minor landscaping and detail why I chose to go with Ego getting started. This is my 2021 Tesla Model Y. I'll cover more about towing with it for business in a later video. So yeah, towing a trailer will suck your range, but a couple details for now. The towing capacity is 3,500 pounds, and the ton weight is 350. Okay, right at the max. Now, I had already bought this car for personal non-towing use, so to save a bit of money over paying Tesla to install a trailer hitch, I ended up doing that myself. Just pull this out. Here's the fun part of putting everything back together now. Oh, after my last video, I know some people at Tesla are kind of paying attention to what I'm doing. So all I ask is please don't switch off Marvin. He would be very depressed. Now this is actually a really old six by 14 foot trailer that my brother-in-law had and he's letting me kind of long-term borrow. Now I replaced the bent axle with one with brakes. and then wired in a breakaway kit and a seven pin plug. After that, I painted the tongue and I just couldn't help myself. So I painted the whole thing with just some like farm and implement paint that cost maybe around a hundred bucks. Because I knew I wanted brakes on the trailer, I got a brake controller and figured out how to wire in to the existing Tesla harness. And hopefully this will work well. Press the brake. Because I don't think there was an elegant aftermarket solution that plugs directly into the Tesla factory connector, which would be really nice. Wiring harness is complete. Now, I'm not saying you need to go buy a Tesla or even an electric car to operate my kind of setup. It's just what I had and decided to use at the time. Personally though, I have no regrets. This car is so capable in so many ways. You just need to know its limitations. Which we'll cover in a separate video later on. That being said though, you can basically get this car for $43,000 with the US federal tax credit. Uh, apparently Tesla just the other night lowered the price on this by like $2,000. So with the tax credit, you could get it for like 41,000 now. Anyway, just wanted to throw this in there before I posted the video, just to let you guys know. I'm not sure why, but some people still think this car costs like a hundred grand. Now the interior of the trailer, poor thing needs a bath. The interior already had the epoxy floors and painted walls, plus the E-Track stuff. Now, I would have done the floor and the walls myself anyway, so I actually come from working in a really shiny, well-lit environment, and it's hard for me to do dark and dingy anymore. In fact, I work on the side with my friend in his general contracting business, and after just a couple times, I managed to convince him to let me do up his trailer. And personally, I think it looks just a little bit better. Um, the E-Track stuff, I wouldn't really do myself. I only use it in a couple places just because it's here uh, to tie some things down. I prefer to just grab some random cheap Home Depot and Lowe's hangers and just hang stuff up and then bungee cord the things to the wall to keep them from flopping around too much. Because I'm always changing where things go and rearranging. And in fact, I still need to find a spot for this backpack blower on the wall, so I'm gonna have to shift some stuff around anyhow. One of the most annoying things about this old trailer is not having a proper fold-down ramp door. After just one time trying to unload this mower, I went out and bought this cheap ramp from Tractor Supply and modified it to work for this trailer and this mower. One other thing that annoys me is ratchet straps. So I found these cheap 
boat transom straps on Amazon, which I like using on my Ego 21 inch select cut self propelled something something mower. Also use one on my wheelbarrow here. Which is great for when I take this trailer out. Now this poor Frankenstein trailer I found on Craigslist for about 500 bucks. Somebody mounted this whole thing on the front and way on the back of the lower frame and these two center beams aren't touching at all. I did some work to reinforce it, painted it, and added some shiny stickers. I think it came out pretty good. If you fill it up with mulch to about here, you get four cubic yards. If you heap it, you can maybe fit five or six. Big old heap. But I don't like to do that because you'll just overload the suspension. Now, selling these mulching jobs to existing lawn care clients helped me pay for the solar and onboard storage battery in my trailer. Now, I have a video on that, so I won't go into too much detail, but just to recap, 1200 watts up top, 3000 watts of output on my inverter, and five kilowatt hours of storage on the onboard battery. I love being able to charge on the go. Already up to 98%. Still charging. Instead of just buying more Ego. And speak of the devil, the Ego Z6 42 inch zero turn mower. Now it came with four 10 amp hour batteries, but I knew I was gonna need more capacity. So I bought two more, adding $1,000 to the already high price tag of this mower, bringing the total to $6,500. That was painful and it's just been a barrel of fun to pay off. Speaking of pricey, nice. I got these fast straps for the mower and I like them, but they didn't quite fit. So I had to bend the end to get it to clear. At the same time I've gotten the zero turn and the push mower, I bought this 16 inch line IQ string trimmer, which I have some gripes about, but it's still working. I also got the edger and string trimmer combo just in case that string trimmer broke but as you can see with this one I've hardly used it. After some time I started adding on services so I got this hedge trimmer attachment for the edger and string trimmer combo which is really handy and then a little while after that I got the handheld version Over here, just your standard half-borrowed, half-bought shovels and stuff to get you going. Uh, this pitchfork, it's definitely worth it to get something decent if you're doing mulching jobs. Crappy garden tools to get you going. Pooper scooper, edger, a rake that's seen better days, and this little scraper thing for some weeding and stuff like that. Boring electrical stuff. You guys don't care about that. Just kidding. Um, you saw this in my other video This charger actually died on me shortly after making that video So I got to try and get a new one. This is the old shore power cable I want to do a more permanent solution to wire into the EG4 inverter so that I can charge up my onboard battery my mower and These batteries if I don't have enough solar moving forward in the trailer. I've got my string trimmer line mounted to this shelf, which is just kind of a catch-all for random stuff. You know, water bottle, sunscreen, Gatorade Recycling Center, first aid kit down here, and spare tire, bottle jack, and um, bicycle pump for when your clients get their roofs replaced. And of course, more safety, I've got this fire extinguisher here that I've totally had from the beginning, because I told you guys that safety never takes a day off. On this side, I got my trash can, which sort of hooks on, and then my poker stick for catching food out there in the wild. 
I don't know, I am kind of hungry. I almost forgot my favorite tool. It's still a little on the heavy side, even with just two six amp hour batteries on the back here. But at 800 CFM, it's a little bit more powerful than the handheld blower, even though that one's still pretty good. But in other cases, it kind of blows. I'll get into some of the issues I've had with it in tool reviews later on. This can't run all day or anything. I still charge it up maybe midway through my day, but it's pretty good. I don't know if you can hear the thunder, but I gotta get going. So why Ego? I mean, I get it. A lot of you guys are skeptical. And quite frankly, so am I. But the question I set out to answer was, can you start a fully electric lawn care company? And can you do it with using just solar power? And this whole thing largely was, and still is, just an experiment. But hey, it might just work. My priorities were getting started quickly and building a client list. I didn't come from having a gas lawn care company. So no matter what equipment I chose, I would be starting from scratch. So going out and buying a $18,000 or $34,000 lawnmower just didn't really make sense with zero cash flow. Mine's kind of the residential version of yeah. that. Those things aren't cheap. And I didn't start with solar and batteries in the trailer when I first started this journey back in April 2022. So being able to swap batteries between equipment from the mower to the weed whacker and all that stuff made a lot of sense to me at the time. As crazy as it sounds, being able to drive to Lowe's and pick up all the equipment I needed. Sorry, puppy. Well, being able to drive to Lowe's and pick up pretty much everything I needed to start a business that if I failed miserably at, I could just basically sell off my equipment, whatever's left, and go back to a job that I hated. It sounded like a reasonable way to approach it. Has it been smooth sailing? Just run over that. Wasn't exactly what I wanted to happen. Basically pushed the deck into the blades. I just feel lightheaded and exhausted. Definitely not. But I chose to grow slowly, surviving off of savings for a long time. I was able to build up a client list and I leveraged those clients to get me extra work so that I could afford to invest that back into the business for the solar panels and batteries and so forth. <sighs> If something bad happens to my mower, breaks in half or maybe catches on fire. I noticed a burning smell. It's definitely one of the leaves that was burning. And then I had to go buy a new one. It would hurt. That's where I burned myself. But at least now with cash flow, I would be able to survive. So far, it's still working, it's still making me money. I'm not trying to convince you guys that this is the right way to do things. I'm just a punk who likes trying to solve problems and learning. And last year when I quit my job to go back to school and move back home with the parents to save money. Hey dad. I wanted to start a business and fully electric lawn care powered by solar seems like an interesting thing to work on. And so far, things have been very interesting. And I feel like we're only just getting started. So stick around, there's a lot more problems to solve. Got a big hammer? <laughs> I got this hammer. That's not a big hammer. And a lot more to learn.